Hey, good morning everyone, Tractor Man 44 here. Hey, uh, I'm over at my buddy's house, Tom's. I've been over here a couple of times before, and just in the last couple of days, we went ahead and got a couple of uh, the dump trailer loads of wood off of this tree. Well, come time to go ahead and deal with the tree, so we went ahead and cut it down. Uh, we used a 440 steel with a 24 inch guide bar uh, to go ahead and drop this thing. And it's, it's a pretty solid red oak, uh, and I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna run around 2,000 pounds, 2,100 pounds, somewhere in that general area. And we've got it all rigged up, and so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. This is kind of a deja vu all over again because this is the way we loaded those big logs up in uh, St. Louis, I think last year, year before last, whatever. So we're back again with the same old setup. There's the uh, Badlands 12,000 pound winch with the synthetic rope. We've got the snatch block in the dead center of the trailer to pull straight into the fair lead. And then over here on this tree, about uh, four and a half or five feet off of the trailer side, uh, we gain a little bit of distance on our, on our rope by uh, having that snatch block off to the side of the trailer. And if you just follow the cable down, You'll see Tom sitting on the log. Actually, he jumped up and ran. But then we got another snatch block to double our output of our winch right there on the uh, on the actual log. And so the cables then, or the nylon chokers, are wrapped around the log in a V pattern and attached to my side of the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and see what happens here. The good thing about this synthetic cable is if you do snap a cable, which is highly unlikely uh, because it is 12,000 pound rated, you're only going to get slapped. You're not going to get you're not going to get cut in two with a uh, with a three eighths cable coming flying back at you. As you can see, it's feeding right onto that uh, right onto the reel, just like it's supposed to, like a rod and reel. The only downfall to a 12,000 pound winch is the amount of juice that sucks out of your battery. Okay, you can see everything's under tension. We got the log about a halfway up the ramp. Hope we don't run out again. When this gets to that six by six, it's gonna fly up in the air. That's all we can go. We have to stop right now. There she said. That's good, man. Well, guys, we managed to get everything up there. Uh, we didn't spill any blood. We didn't even get a broken bone today. So uh, that's actually pretty good. So uh, I thanks to my buddy Tom for letting me come over and getting this thing from him. So now all I got to do is decide on whether or not I want to go ahead and uh, plank this or slab it down with the uh, Holst Farmer uh, chainsaw mill or pare it down enough to get onto the, the Frontier bandsaw and then make lumber out of it. It's going to be some pretty good material in this guy right here. Okay, guys, I just checked the Narwood scale and my estimation was way off on the weight. According to this, if it's 28 inches in diameter to the full length of the log, it's going to weigh 3,528 pounds. So we can conservatively say it's 3,600 pounds here on this particular log. And there was 540 board feet that should come out of this with a bandsaw sawmill. But, uh, of course, slabbing it with the chainsaw mill is going to be, you know, somewhat less. So you know what? We got this thing loaded up. Like I said, we didn't kill nobody. Nobody even got hurt. And uh, this is Trackman 44 and his buddy Tom. And we're out of here. You think I'd get enough lumber out of one of these logs I'm bringing home to do something with this trailer deck, don't you think?
guys, skid loader handled this one okay. Uh, I figured it would because it did okay with that pretty good sized chunk down there on the bottom too. And this is a small end right here. This is uh, 20, 20, 23 inch across on the small end. So yeah, it's sitting here ready to, uh, to be processed now. A portion of it's going to be firewood. There's a little bit of pith right here on this end right here. So probably within two or three 16 inch pieces, we're going to be into the good, uh, the good meat. That'll still leave us a good 10 foot material on this good uh, red oak red oak log. So that's about all there is to this one here, you know. Uh, all we got to do now is put the truck and the trailer away and then go back to business and figure out which one of these logs we need to saw next. So you know what? It's Tractor Man 44 and I'm out of here, guys.